Does anyone just love booting up Cyberpunk and just exploring? I know I'm that way, but let's get into the news right now. Check out the headlines. We have best mods could actually come to Cyberpunk on console. Based on CD Projekt Red's recent moves, the potential for this is big. I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. Plus, we have this one right here. Cyberpunk player discovers new legendary weapon, and you can unlock it right now if you're on PC. I'm going to show you how you can actually do this. Also, we have this one. You got GTA 5 in my Cyberpunk. A new mod DLC adds a feature from GTA 5 and a new way to earn some eddies passively. This is really, really cool. And we have Cyberpunk hater turns believer. The story of an absolute hater giving CD Projekt Red another chance, which I think a lot of us have. And we're pretty happy with what has happened with Cyberpunk so far. All right, so let's get into the first set of news, which ties into the free next-gen update for, of course, yes, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. You're probably scratching your head going, hey, Robbie, how does this affect Cyberpunk in any way? Well, check this out right here. This is very interesting. It goes on to say this about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt free update. It says, enhanced with the power of next-gen consoles and modern PC hardware in mind, the upcoming update will feature dozens of visual performance and technical enhancements including ray tracing support, faster loading times on consoles, a variety of mods integrated into the experience, and much more. On top of that, we're adding a set of DLCs inspired by Netflix The Witcher series, such as new weapons and armor for Geralt, and alternative look for select characters. But something that is so key to what we just read here about this Witcher update is they are actually going to the modding community and including some of the best mods in this update for free. This is huge news and we cannot uh, have this as an oversight as to how they're thinking about other games under the CD Projekt Red umbrella because they have talked about the future of Cyberpunk 2077 and there being a definitive edition. I would imagine that yes, CD Projekt Red would be very interested in adding the best of the best in terms of mods to a definitive edition version for Cyberpunk 2077 down the road and releasing that, or perhaps some sort of free update and getting the best mods to console players because you all deserve that. So this actually gives me a lot of hope. It doesn't mean that we're going to see something like Red Mod available for console players. And you have to remember this one right here that yes, CD Projekt Red has hired Cyberpunk community modders, and this is really big. Let's take a look at officially what they are working on. Check it out right here. Under developer Yigsoft's banner, the chosen modders are slated to work on multiple aspects of Cyberpunk's backend. The post reads as follows. We'll be working on various projects related to Cyberpunk's backend and the game's modding support. We are really excited for this and we really hope we can help bring Cyberpunk to the next level. What these community members turn full-fledged developers will be working on remains to be seen. Of course, we have Red Mod. They've been helping out with feedback with that, of course, and developing their own features and that sort of thing. Be cool to see if they actually did some features for Phantom Liberty and any updates around that. Of course, anything related to modding, and this is super important, could be free in my personal opinion to you all. I mean, it's so amazing to think that, yes, the next gen update for The Witcher 3 is going to include a bunch of mods from the community and that update is not going to have a price point it's going to be essentially free to existing witcher 3 uh you know fans that have the game and of course anyone that buys the game later down the road can upgrade for free as well but yeah free stuff should be hopefully coming our way for cyberpunk 2077 cross my fingers through the power of modding and check this out right here it says i discovered a secret legendary weapon this comes from ocean and check out what he actually discovered right here. It is Johnny's Revolver, a legendary version. Of course, this is kind of a pre-release version of Johnny's weapon. I guess it's very, very powerful. But the way he discovered this is pretty wild. Let's get into this right now. He goes on to say this. Okay, so lately, I've just been messing around with mods. And my favorite one to mess around with is the no-clip free fly mod. Because it lets you get anywhere even during cutscenes, which can make for some funny moments. Anyways, I discovered that if you use Noclip Free Fly mod during Johnny's flashback right before Act 1 and Act 2, I did it before getting on the chopper, you can actually get back to Night City 
So I was just walking around Night City as Johnny, and I wanted to see what would happen if I went and talked to a vendor. This is how I discovered this secret legendary weapon. I just talked to Coach Fred. You could do this with any vendor that buys guns, not just Coach, Coach Fred. And in my inventory was a weapon called Johnny's Revolver. Not only does it have a different name, but it also has a different bio at the bottom than the Melorian. I looked online for a long time and found nothing about this weapon. So I think I'm the first to discover it. Currently, I'm trying to find a way to get back once I'm playing as V again after the flashback. So he's trying to obtain the weapon playing as V because once you exit this flashback sequence, apparently the weapon disappears from your inventory. And yes, a lot of people, I guess, uh, have experience with this weapon, or I should say some of the community know about this weapon before this post. But if you're wondering how you can actually play with, I guess you would call it the original Johnny Silverhand revolver, check it out right here. You have to have CET installed, which is of course a mod. And then you input this right here. Game add to inventory item base Silverhand. It's been known for about quite some time. But I feel like it's one of those things that a lot of people don't know about because of this post. It had like a ton of upvotes on it, 6,300 upvotes. So apparently a good chunk of the community are unaware of this. And again, it's very, very cool uh, as something that would be potentially added down the future as like some sort of official mod. It would be very neat to have different versions of Johnny's weapon for sure. All right, so we need to talk about a hater turned believer in the cyberpunk community. Check it out right here. It says, it's incredibly rewarding to see the integrity of CD Projekt Red's vision uncovered thanks to all the work done to the game. This one comes from Intrinsuit. He says, I must admit, I was a real hater when the game came out. At one point, I held the most helpful negative Steam review. I repeated all the talking points from major to minor issues which is why my review gained attention. Looking back, I didn't say anything insightful or interesting. Now, replaying it again after two years with all the patches and love poured into it, you can really respect what the devs intended to present. Sure, it's not perfect and rough around the edges here and there, but with the better optimization, updated and rebalanced weapons, better police responses, and rejuvenated NPCs, you can see a lot of the foundational heart and soul of this game was developed with. The atmosphere is like nothing else. It's riding is sublime. And if you allow the game to take you on the journey without expecting some ultra perfect and endlessly expanding role playing experience, you'll have a great time. Yeah, it's come a long way, especially from launch. And the only thing that's missing really for me personally, well, there's still, you know, a bunch of things I would still love to see for this game, but I want to see the police system updated. And honestly, it would be so cool to see the factions with their own bounty hunting police system mix in there as well to make it feel like what they were promising beforehand. But anyway, says this is a pretty basic appreciation post, but once I pulled this that initial stick out of my behind, it's hard not to see the game dripping with creative design everywhere you look. The world's density might be something of an illusion, but boy, is it a convincing one? Yes, this is why I want to see like permanent support for this game because the world they have built here, Night City, is one of the most impressive open worlds I have ever seen. In some respects, it beats out GTA 5. You know, it competes with Skyrim uh, on the surface level, mind you, but I want to see them really flash out things, uh, building interiors, mega buildings, that sort of thing. There's so much potential here. But yeah, let's get back to the post here. He goes on to say this, the more they invest in the game, the better off it seems. Projects are never perfect, but we can't really say that the CD Projekt Red dumped crap on us without regard. Uh, it was a mismanaged release of a fall gym that needed some love and less ex executive meddling. Did the marketing get out of hand? Sure, it's not good that happened, but I think allowing that to muddy your perspective like I did can rob you of something special. Now is the best Time for any remaining naysayers to give it another shot. Put simply, if a hater like me can fall in love with this game, I think anyone could. Yeah, I mean, this guy had one of the most upvoted negative perspectives on the game when it first released. And if he can, you know, I guess you would say fall in love with the game after that, that shows that there is hope for Cyberpunk. But yeah, you know, CD Projekt Red, I feel like after Phantom Liberty, of course, they're going to release this and then they're going to be like, 
it is time to get rolling with the sequel. We have got to develop this on Unreal Engine 5. You got to remember that they have like an official partnership with Epic Games. Epic Games is going to be looking at what they can do. And they actually have to kind of like impress Epic Games. It's going to be a back and forth between those two companies trying to really impress each other, I guess you would say. So Modder kind of borrowed a really cool feature from GTA 5. Check it out right here. Stock market and extended new system have arrived in Night City. This is very cool. There's two mods out right now. There is, of course, the basic stock market mod where you can go in and basically choose from like a preset of different options here and invest essentially in companies and the stock market. But there's also another one that is a little bit more advanced. And this one is called stock market and news system. And you can go in here and actually kind of track the progress of the stock and try to look for trends and th things like that. But it's another way where you can actually earn eddies in Cyberpunk 27. So I'm very creative. I love it. I think it's really cool. And it just adds more, I don't know, realism and makes it feel like Night City is much more realistic in that regard. All right, so now it's time to get into your top comment. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Let's go over my most recent video, which was about this right here. Cyberpunk, the big expansion will cost you. CD Projekt Red on Paralas. Will we get, uh, you know, Paralas DLC and new update? So yeah, of course the expansion is going to cost you. There's some people that were actually confused about this. So let's go ahead and get into your reply. So check it out. We have Tentacular Gucci who says this. Hopefully Phantom Liberty adds a bunch of content. This game is in dire need of a lot of the content that was promised and much more that was expected. The game truly has so much potential it has yet to reach. So yeah, so see you Project Red, we need a permit team. <laughs> Will happen? I don't know. Now we have this one from, how do you say this name? Ashisa. Fell Omen, who says the Perales story was the best story in the game. Very well written. I'd enjoy if they continue it. But at the same time, enjoyed open ending. There is a bigger world out there beyond your region. It seems like that was the intention behind the Perales story. And it's cool that a lot of you guys got that too. Now, Nina says this. The thing that makes me think the Perales storyline will continue in some way is just the fact that he is one of the few NPCs who can call V during credits. And it's not like he is V's. Friend. That is definitely a very interesting discovery right there. So maybe, just maybe, we will have more to the Prowl storyline through Phantom Liberty, a whole new perspective. I think that could be cool. All right. Furthermore, we have Camille who says this, Quest of Prowl is a very good presentation of the fact that we do not have influence on everything or as much influence as we would like. Isn't that like real life? I think there's some similarities to that for sure. All right. Furthermore, we have this one from J. Patrick Ote, who says, I really like the Perales story for exactly that reason, that it's V coming into the situation as a troubleshooter, fulfilling the role and walking back out of it. I'd love to see how that plays out, but I very much want it to remain at a distance. Having things happen in the world without the protagonist being involved goes a long way to make it feel live and real to me. I wish you get more stuff like this in open world RPGs. Tyrell says, dude, whatever CD Projekt Red has in store for Cyberpunk, I'm excited for it. I enjoy the hell out of this game. Hell yes. So next step is going to be update 1.7. And then after that is going to be the release of Phantom Liberty. I'm excited for both of these things. Uh, beyond the Phantom Liberty, of course, we are hopefully going to be seeing some amazing mods. And of course, hopefully see some of the best mods put onto consoles for you guys through some sort of definitive edition that packages all the DLC together, best mods, that sort of thing. I think that'd be very, very cool. But I think there should be, my personal opinion, I think after Phantom Liberty, there should be some sort of free package released to console players, including like the best mod mods from pc this is what you guys get we've been working with the modding community to get this to you guys much like they're doing with the witcher 3 uh, an action update that's something that i think would be very very cool you guys deserve it so yeah hopefully that does happen but anyway thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more and i will see you all next time take care